Hello, this is Visto Gudarzi. Together with Arati and Rupolo, we are presenting Sonification First, the role of ICAD in the advancement of sonification-related research. Sonification as a means for exploring and analyzing data is an established domain in the field of auditory display, and it has played a central role in almost three decades of ICAD conferences. So our aim was um, to look at the past 24 ICAD conference proceedings and see the balance between artistic and scientific data exploration. Uh, we would like to emphasize and encourage the sonification researchers to investigate the direction of sonification research in order to avoid repetitive work in the field and also uh, create some standardization in the field. Uh, in this paper, we provide only an objective interpretation based on proceedings of ICAD, um, leaving the community to draw a deeper conclusion and discussion. Uh, all the data we present is extracted from 1,141 files of scientific publications published in the past 24 ICAD conferences that are archived in Georgia Tech Library. Uh, we use um, these proceedings as the starting point, uh, the special issue journals are not included in this analysis. We hope to do that in the future work. The titles and abstract were filtered by the keywords sonification, audification, and their derivatives. Uh, this process resulted in 456 papers, which composed the core data of our analysis. Each data entry includes the title, abstract, year of publication, a list of corresponding authors and their affiliations, the conference location, conference dates, and host institution. Entries were manually tagged according to a set of labels. So some uh, basic assumptions uh, needed to be made in order to proceed with data analysis. Um, these posed certain limitations to the work that we are presenting. For example, the source of information for the selection of articles and subsequent um, analysis was the titles and abstracts, not the full text. The ICAD proceedings are not representative of artistic works. Uh, for example, uh, many of installations and performances are not included. Any inconsistencies in the metadata uh, with each data entry was manually corrected. Due to the Time constraints here. We only show some selected figures and we encourage you to read the paper for more details and also discuss with us during the conference. A simple inspection of the conference proceedings uh, revealed that a lot of work presented in the conference is somehow related to sonification domain. Um, as you can see in this figure, ICAT publications related to sonification um, per conference year. This percentage uh, was quite low in the first four years, ranging between 11 and 21%, which during the last four or five years of the conference increased to 45 to 70%. Uh, it's also worth, worth mentioning that uh, this increased trend um, appears to be irrelevant to the conference locations. During the review of the selected abstracts, each paper was manually tagged according to the focus of the discussed work um, under one of the categories, scientific, artistic, both artistic and scientific, uh, artistic and scientific papers and position papers. Uh, and finally, others. Uh, the scientific were characterized all manuscripts which explored sonification to resolve a research task. Artistic were manuscripts which uh, concert any form of artwork. Position papers were characterized all manuscripts which discuss the documented opinion of the authors or matter related to sonification. All remaining papers that did not fit into any of these categories were in others. Papers were also manually tagged according to the type of sonification um, under one of these six categories. Sonification methods were manuscripts which discussed the development of a sonification methodology, sonification tool or system, were manuscripts which discussed the development of a self-contained tool or system for sonification. Review or opinion were manuscripts which reviewed one or multiple sonification methodologies and exploratory were manuscripts which explored the design of sonification methodologies, tools for a specific task, 
perception and evaluation studies uh, were manuscripts which discussed percep perception studies that somehow involved the use of sonification. And other papers are the ones that don't fit in any of these categories. Um, one other discussion point uh, concerns the assessment of sonification related work. Uh, our findings are in line with past statistics reflecting that the difficulty in the implementation of evaluation routines in the sonification domain and a large number of sonification methodology tools and systems um, published without any discussion of formal evaluation uh, out of 456 papers under study, 32% um, were only um, mentioning some form of subjective assessment in their abstracts. Um, and uh, this has increased in the last five years of the conference. As you can see, in 2015 to 2019, there has been a notable increase in the number of papers implementing or discussing the evaluation of sonification work, uh, which could be an indication of a slight change of uh, perspective in the ICAT community on this matter. All titles and abstracts in the corpus were processed by a text analysis algorithm. The resulting words list uh, was manually inspected for the removal of words not related to sonification and ICAT. And three additional words that were removed are sonification, data, and sound. So we ended up with a dictionary of 230 words. In the word cloud of the most frequent uh, works across all conference years, as shown in this figure, um, most frequent terms are visualized in darker red colors uh, with larger size fonts. Using the terms uh, from this global word cloud um, as a starting point, uh, we tried um, to monitor the evolution of sonification in ICAD um, in the, from 94 in five-year increments. As you can see, in the early years of ICAD, music was the word with the highest frequency of occurrence, indicating that the musicality of sonification works um, was a topic very frequently addressed in early ICAD publications. In later years, the word still remains on top five, uh, but at a lower rank. Another word um, that occurred uh, very often is design, uh, which has been most common word across several conferences since 2000. Interaction and movement are two other terms that seem to occur more often since 2005, but they have been in top 20 most frequent words across all five year groups. Um, the fields that emerged from interactivity and movement sonification, such as sonification in assistive technology, are more present in the most recent proceedings. Mapping and parameter uh, are also two essential terms for parameter mapping sonification, which seems to be the most commonly used methodology across all ICAD proceedings. Mapping auditory parameters to parameters from the data domain is one of the focal points of sonification. The word mapping appears to be in top 10 across all ICAT conferences, and the word parameter is less frequent, uh, but appears uh, consistently across all conference years uh, among top 20 words. Perception and listening uh, are words related to subjective evaluation and studies, uh, which are more visible since 2000. Only an average of 32% of sonification-related publication mention any form of subjective assessment in their work. Uh, this percentage has reached a global maximum of 42% during the last five conferences, which is also reflected in the word cloud of the, this period, uh, where both terms appear to have a higher frequency of occurrence than before. In conclusion, the term sonification has evolved during nearly 30 decades of ICAT conferences. While it has originally used to refer to the mapping of data information into sound, it has gradually evolved into a general umbrella incorporating most of the work in the area of auditory display. This is apparently the gradual but steady increase in the percentage of ICAT papers concerning sonification. From our preliminary research, there appears to be no correlation between the country where the conference have taken place um, and the percentage of sonification related work published. The distribution of papers per category of work revealed that the vast majority of sonification related manuscripts 
were research oriented. Over the last decade, uh, the ICAT sonification community appears to be more focused towards the development of sonification tools and methodologies and more open to the idea of evaluation of the design work. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Me and Arati will be present during the conference and looking forward to discussing with you. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Thank you for this uh, paper, both of you. And thank you for the presentation, Vista. By the way, Vista is available uh, and she's with us today. Uh, so hopefully no thunderstorms in Chicago quite yet. Um, I have many questions, but uh, I'll ask the two that came in the question in the Q&A. Uh, please ignore my meowing cat. Um, any surprising and unexpected results that you found from the analysis? Something, um, something any hints for uh, future directions based on this analysis? I would, I would start by, by saying that um, you, you literally see, uh, first of all, the disclaimer is that we only studied the abstracts of those papers, okay? So we can only base our conclusions on whatever it is revealed or included in an abstract. So you could really um, follow um, the uh, evolution of, uh, of, of ICAD. So there are surprises in a, in a sense that, um, well, surprises to an outside reader, not to us that we've been following ICAD for several years, but you could really see the community actually um, dropping interest in certain topics like uh, auditory icons and, and ear cons were very popular the first few years and they came back in the last five years, but were not really popular in the beginning, um, in the middle. Um, you see the, 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 pre, the, the appearance and the disappearance of uh, uh, perception related papers coming and going. It used to be a big thing in the beginning again, and then we are revisiting this topic in the, in the last uh, uh, five years. To actually see surprises though, uh, one had to actually maybe study the full uh, papers, like all, all thousand plus papers that include ICAD. If you just focus on, on certification, you miss the big picture. ICAD is not only about certification, we foster so many more uh, topics. Um, and I, f I feel like um, you would see um, certain areas of interest like 3D and spatial audio, for example, that used to be big some years before and then it gradually disappeared, then it appeared again. You would see um, that, uh, that happening. But the minute we focused really into, into certification, I wouldn't say big surprises, but things that we kind of knew and we felt like uh, we we lived by following ICAD over the, the years. We actually saw them appearing in the in the statistics. Yeah, thank you for this. Um, I don't know if you wanted to jump in with anything, Vista. Um, there were a Jordan had a kind of follow up question and Prithvi I will ask your question as well but uh but just because it's connect it's more connected um Jordan is asking did the use of the word sonification get broader or the research focus of ICAT papers shifted I do feel like RIT kind of started answering that question but if you wanted to add something mm -hmm. I think the answer to this question is both but again our findings are based on just abstracts so like just to be clear uh, and I wanted to also jump on to Fillard's question as well, like uh, the lack of um, um, uh, what, what is like, um, um, sorry, been surprising. Okay, that, that's that's what um, already answered, right? Sorry. Yeah, but please feel free to add your thoughts. Mm -hmm. Like, is there something lacking? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, mainly like the, uh, okay, that was the, mm, the second question. Did you notice any common reasons for mm. um, the- Yeah, the presence or absence not, of systematic evaluation, yeah. Uh, that has been like the discussion also within the community for a very long time, but um, it seems like an unresolved issue and people start like tackling it more and more. We, we found more like, papers that have like included some sort of evaluation. Uh, but again, uh, we found, um, I think we have to do more systematic analysis 
to, to find projects that are related to one another, to find how many projects have been uh, followed up throughout ICAD, because many of the um, research has not, uh, is just left alone, like after three years, five years, when a PhD was over, when a project was finished. So that's something to consider and also see like, how can we continue some, some research that has been done and documented well. Thank you for very good questions. Uh, did we answer Jordan's question clearly or not? Yes, you, you answered yeah. okay. the question that it's, that it's both. Uh, and I don't know if uh, RIT wants to jump in on it, but mm -hmm. we're uh, heading to the end of question mm -hmm. period. And we would love to talk to you about this like later in the gather town, because this yeah. is something that is everybody's concerned in everybody's the community. Concerned. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Narendra.